guys in previous video we saw about the uh, theoretical portion of determination of apparent density of refractory okay so i would like to uh, show you the uh, practical portion now okay so uh, this is the um, measuring cylinder taken so it measures 25 ml so it's a 25 ml measuring jar okay so first we have to take the weight of this measuring cylinder using digital uh, balance okay that's it so that measures about 17 grams all right okay so next step is that we have to fill this one with the distilled water and then we have to take the weight or the measuring cylinder is filled with the water okay so it's just excess of the 25 ml that i am removing using dropper so 25 ml of water distilled water is taken now we have to take weight of this one okay cylinder with the water so that is here w1 is equal to 40 grams okay so next what you have to do is we have to drain this down okay and then um, uh, we have to dry it when no more moisture is present that time we have to add the sample okay so one thing i want to say here when you add water if there are some water outside the cylinder we can wipe it using the tissue paper also before you weigh the cylinder okay now let us drain down the water and dry it and then we can add the sample water is now drained down okay so it should be dry we can clean it using tissue paper or clean cloth or it can be kept in desiccator or oven for a few seconds so ensure that no moisture present inside the cylinder okay now this is our sample it's porous right so this sample that is given can be added into the cylinder the given sample is added into this cylinder and now this has to be weighed okay so this is weighed as 28 grams okay we got the weight to be 28 grams that is taken as w okay next uh, what we have to do we have to add water in drops using dropper okay so that all the air gaps inside and the pores filled with the water So when the pores are filled with the water then we can add the water till the marking that is till the 25 ml marking we, are, we can add but before that ensure that all the air gaps are filled with the distilled water yeah now uh, all the air gaps are filled with the water okay because the water stays at the top without lowering now we can add uh, the distilled water till the marking if it goes excess also we can remove it using the dropper so i have added till the marking now 
now it's ready to take weight we have to take weight of this all right so that is taken as the w2 i weighed it as the weight uh, came as uh, 47 grams i got the weight to be 47 grams so this is the experimental portion guys so two two samples will be given so in the same way we have to try it for the another sample also so just uh, uh, once again i'll tell empty container mass must be taken so just take i got it as 17 grams and then we have to fill the container with the water that i got it as w1 uh, 40 grams it's taken as w1 and i got it as 40 grams next the cylinder should be dried okay so when there is no moisture present in it the sample must be added into it, into it. Um, the weight is taken as w so that i got it as 28 grams and next we have to add water distilled water drop by drop so that all the air gaps inside are filled and then fill it to the same level as you filled up okay so that is actually the w2 it's uh, i got it as 47 grams next we need to calculate the specific gravity that is w minus p so w is a weight of the container plus sample so and p is the weight of the empty container then you get the weight of the sample level okay so specific gravity can be calculated using this formula all right and there is no unit for the specific gravity actually so the calculations are done and i got the specific gravity to be 2.75 so that multiplied by the density of water one gram per cc you get the apparent density 2.75 gram per centimeter cube okay guys hope you understood the experiment okay meet you all in the next experiment thank you